So on Monday last week, a Christian school was attacked by a woman who identified as trans and she killed six people. Six people, including three children. That was before the police who responded quickly could stop her. Why the whole world and especially those in this, in the state of Tennessee, we are really trying to, you know, wrap their head around this tragedy. The trans community all around the world, they had a pressing concern, a very pressing concern. So fasting your seatbelt, guys, is about to get terrible. You know, the height of ridiculousness is about to get to like a thousand. It's going to be a painful ride into the disgusting logic of trans activists and how they respond to tragedy perpetrated by one of theirs. I think by now everybody has heard about what happened in Nashville. Here's something important to keep in mind. No matter what, even if someone is a bad person, you should never misgender them. It's not really a conversation of respect. Trans people will be trans whether you misgender them or not, but you should never misgender a bad trans person. Here's the thing. I understand the apprehension in respecting a trans person's pronouns when they've been a terrible person. Something really important to keep in mind for this specific instance, though, is that everybody knows that this person is transgender. However, this person is a trans man. When you misgender this person and call him a woman, you are leading into the idea that this act was done by a trans woman. Trans men do not deserve any targeting for this hatred. That's very clear. But trans women did not do this. They are unrelated, and we are seeing very alarming trends of them being the center of hatred in this ongoing culture war. Critical thinking is a skill that many people don't have in America because, because how else do you explain the nonsense that just came out of the mouth of this person? Trans men, trans women, who cares? Really, who cares? Six people just died, you idiot. There's no one targeting trans people, no one, absolutely no one. They are not the center of any form of attack. Instead, these people are getting endorsement deals and winning competitions. Like major institutions are bowing at their feet and calling these people queens. No one, absolutely no one is targeting so-called trans women. Women. There is no proof of this attack that you speak of. For once, just focus on reality. For once in your delusional existence, especially in the event of this kind of tragedy, try and focus on reality. This is not time to, to dwell in illusions and delusions and lies and make up facts. Especially now that six people just died. Like, is there a moment where you guys take a break? An actual break and be like, you know what? This is a moment where we pause on the lies. You know, like, 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 like puberty blockers. Can you block the lies? Is there, is there puberty blockers for the lies? Can you just find a drug that can put a pause on the lies? For once. Apparently not. Apparently not. You know, especially now is the best time for you guys to just lie. How everything constantly have to be about this community. Like, about protecting this community especially like even when this community is harming a whole community you are harming an entire state one of yours just attacked a school and what you are thinking about is how do we protect this community that is what is top and, and, and center in your mind oh how do we make how do we make this community the victims of something that was done by someone from that community you're going to talk about attack yeah, of, of all the time in the world to talk about trans people being attacked i think there should be a rule that states that when a trans person is the one attacking others that is not the best time to talk about trans people being attacked i think there should just be a rule like that don't you think so doesn't it make sense <sighs> I think children are only unsafe at drag shows when a shooter shows up to kill them. That's right. That's where the threat is. I would challenge anyone just to get to know trans people. We are a vibrant, diverse community as diverse as anyone else. You know, I'm from the great state of Texas. I served in the military. I go to church every Sunday. My faith is very important to me. But God made me in her image. God made me transgender. And to see these people so cynically weaponize this and exploit these children's debts and their teachers' debts, it breaks my heart. I wonder what those families are thinking right now. What do you What do you mean, th feel when you have somebody like Michael Knowles say at CPAC, we need to eradicate transgenderism. And when somebody like Tucker Carlson says that transgender people are at war with Christians. I can't see Christ in their words. That's for damn sure. I can't see where the biblical principles of loving your neighbor and walking the walk with Christ that they can see. I, I can't see what they're seeing right now because that's not of Christ. It's not. Yeah. One thing you need to know about this man is that he used to be a male feminist who got canceled by people on the left for being abusive and intolerant. Yes, he was so despicable that those on the left were like, no, we can't, we can't be allies and two years later he rebrands himself as a trans woman and he's now in a new creation all things have passed away behold all things have become new and now he gets to lecture us about the love of christ now he's an expert on christian doctrine he can now you know give us um, religious exegesis <laughs> but first he, he said children are unsafe in drag shows only when a mass shooter shows up but then again when has this ever happened when 
it's not you shouldn't be bringing this up especially now especially when the answer to that question is never there has never been a time when children were attending drag shows and there was a mass shooter around it has never happened never hypotheticals and, and, and delusional takes is not what we need right now and, and god didn't make you trans that's your decision to go against god's design after getting cancelled for being a terrible male feminist that is what happened so stop accusing god falsely he has nothing to do with this also respect his pronouns you irreverent bigot he goes by he him i mean isn't it written somewhere in the gay bible that thou shall not misgender the lord thy god and and how is how is eradicating transgenderism against the doctrine of christ where is it in the bible that jesus said you know in, in one of his teachings here he was advocating for children to be castrated to conform to a delusion where did paul or peter say that it is the will of god for a man to wear lipsticks and heels and parade himself in women's restrooms and dominate women's sports where did, did god who made them male and female declare that probably he could have made a mistake and you said we should we should get to know trans people right well here you are as one of them and from what you said so far and what we know about you we can safely conclude that trans people so-called are a diverse group of liars and frauds Except when they are just being confused and delusional. But who says they can't be both? And with every word that comes out of your mouth, you just justify, you know, the claim that gender ideology is evil. No. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. You are misgendering them. You are being transphobic. When you are transphobic, you are not just transphobic to one person. But you disrespect one person's identity. You respect millions of identities. A white man with a gun once again was a school shooter. That is what happened. That is what took place. The fact that he is trans or not trans doesn't matter at all. People lives were taken. Y'all guys are stuck on the fact that dude was trans. And no one is using it as an excuse. You said reason. You said reason. As in a motive. Where is where is the excuse in? No one is excusing his actions. They are trying to explain his act. It's like mere why he did it. Like a motive. Like that goes for everyone. Everyone wants to find out like what did what a killer mo mo motive is. No matter what this person did, and we want to find out what the hell is going on in the brain. Why they did it. It is interesting to see that this gender ambiguous human being and others like them, you know, or he or she, I don't even know what pronouns is appropriate for this individual. But it's interesting to see that these people have their priorities in order. This nonsense is what we should be focused on right now. You know, we shouldn't misgender a mass shooter because when you misgender her, you misgender millions of people. I mean, how people come to this logical conclusion is just tremendously fascinating when it is not just tragic and despicable. I mean, even though this person is a hideous, despicable, soulless monster that took the lives of cis people the trans community still won't denounce her they even see themselves in this woman and believe that if you misgender her you misgender all of them i mean what kind of ridiculous cut like behavior is this and the amount of privilege that people want to enjoy and often demand and the audacity they have to make such a demand of everyone in society is just mind-blowing especially now i mean if this monster this hideous monster identifies as a white christian man those people won't these, these people won't stop talking about the fact that he's a white christian they will blame it on his race and his religion they will we all know that that is what will happen but in this case all of a sudden the fact that this woman identifies as a trans man becomes irrelevant and you want to play dumb about the motive of this killer a woman who identifies as trans shoots up a christian school and you still don't understand the motive it is still unclear to you you still can't tell why a person radicalized by gender ideology will attack a christian school you can't understand why someone will attack christians after you tell them that anyone especially christians who refuse to affirm their delusion is committing literal acts of genocide you still don't get it it's, it's, it's still a mystery somehow it's, it's hard to wrap your mind around what especially uh, what particularly will have inspired this person to do something so hideous and so heinous it's it's unbe it's it's, uh, it's just uh, you you can't get it it's, it's uh, how come right how Oh my god where did this person get the idea to do this kind of despicable thing from when <laughs> you guys made you guys made a muslim tiktoker regret exposing somebody who identifies as non-binary what did you people not do to that woman the level of threat she received how how she had to delete every post she made about this person accurate post by the way related to accurate information about this hideous non-binary individual the level of threat you guys she received from people in this community it is still hard for someone <laughs> you even know how to play stupid like you even know how to play dumb 
like you 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 just know how to ah you can't understand it so we should not even talk about the fact that this person is trans and that the, the trans ideology breeds terrorists we should we should just act like it doesn't happen i'm not saying everyone in the trans community is the terrorist of course they're not but this ideology breeds terrorists now you might say well every ideology can breed terrorists like christianity have you know there are people who are radicalized by christian values and christian views i don't know how that is possible but well you can take somebody's words and twist them so you can also take the words of words of christ or the words from the bible and twist them but anyone who is attacking people based on the doctrine of gender ideology is not twisting it he's taking the literal interpretation of everything they say that is the literal interpretation of everything they say when you when you take them seriously and you are a member of that community there is nothing in what they say that prevents you from being violent from doing something like this it, this is not a bug this is a feature this is not an exception this is the rule now i'm not saying everyone is abiding by that rule but i'm saying this is the rule but here is a piece of information that that may shock this person in this video and many of them in the trans community see anyone has the right to address and refer to you with any noun pronoun or adjective of their choice it doesn't matter if you are straight gay non-binary black asian sexually ambiguous or, or gender confused I have the right to refer to you anywhere I see fit. I have eyes and I can use them. I have mouth and I can use them. I know words and I know how to choose them. Niceness is not a fundamental human right. I don't owe it to you. You don't get to control my perception of you, nor do you get to decide the words I choose to, to, to refer to you with or describe you with. The pronouns I get to ascribe to you, it is, it is not in your, it is not your right to choose or dictate it. Especially when you want to control how I talk about you even in your ass, in your absence. As in, you want to control how I talk about you even in your absence. How much more when you are a demon possessed satanic mass shooter who just claimed the lives of six people including three nine year olds. Especially then, you don't get to talk about misgendering anyone or dead naming anyone. Do you understand?